the idea is to uh, to take it a step forward and to innovate, or else why why am I doing it? I'm just I don't want to be just another can in the assembly line. You know, I want to you know create, do something that's totally different and unusual. It's like I hate to say it, but it's like what all songwriters say. It's true. It's like you don't write the song; the song writes itself, and it just kind of falls into your lap. It's like when you say, gee whiz, did I do this? It was that sort of thing. Is, is video the same or is video more work? Um, kind of, I think so. It's, 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 it's a cousin of the same creative, you know, intent, I think. Um, you, you just, you let it create itself, really. I know I do. I wanted to do <laughs> a dance number where I, um, I told my sister Janet, I said, you remind me of a Black Panther. I said, why don't you do something where you transform into a, a Black Panther and you transform into yourself again? Uh, she said, I like it, but she didn't go with it. Because we all, the two of us, we always think alike. Um, so I told her I was going to do it, so I did it. And um, in the dance, uh, I said, <laughs> I want to do a dance number where I can just let out my frustration about, you know, injustice and prejudice and racism and bigotry. And within the dance, I just became upset and I let go, you know, and that's what happened. And uh, I think at the time, people were concerned about the violent contempt of, of the piece, but it's like easy to look at. It's uh -huh. simple. Uh, be it. Um, it makes me think of the song and working with Quincy Jones and all those wonderful people. I love Quincy. And he's a wonderful guy to work with. And I remember him telling me to write a song that I would enjoy, you know, with an edge. So I went in my room and wrote Beat It. I don't know why, but I did. About, you know, two gangs coming together. And the, the song is so self-explanatory that it's so easy to make this short film. And I had seen, I think it was a McDonald's commercial, and uh, I said, God, I like the rhythm and the cut of this commercial. I said, I want this director for this piece. So I, I reached out to him. So that was Steve Barrett. Not Steve, I'm sorry, uh, 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 Bob Girardi. Bob Girardi, better than me, good. Yeah, Bob, Bob was cool. Um, Billie Jean is kind of different because it really doesn't have anything to do with the lyrics of the video. It's, it's kind of a whole different thing. What, how'd you come up with that? It's kind of surreal and it's different. I didn't come up with that concept. It was, um, I think, a British fellow. Um, Steve Barron. Yeah, Steve Barron. He, um, he just had all these different ones, and I thought he had wonderful ideas, but I let him go with it. The only part I, I wrote in the piece was I said, I just want a section. I said, give me a section where I could dance a little. Because he said, no dancing in the whole piece. He said, no dancing. I said, just give me one little moment. <laughs> so that whole section, where you see this long street and this billboard of these two girls. One of them is Billie Jean and I'm dancing. That's the only part I contributed. It was a delicate thing to work on because uh, I remember my original approach was how do you make zombies and monsters dance without it being comical? So I said, we have to do just the right kind of movement so it doesn't become something that you laugh at, but it just has to be, you know, take it to another level. So I got in a room with Michael Peters, and he and I together kind of imagined uh, how these zombies should move by making faces in the mirror. And I used to come to rehearsal sometime with monster makeup on, and. And I love doing that. So uh, he and I collaborated, and we both choreographed uh, the piece. And I thought I should start, you know, like that kind of thing. Then go into this kind of jazzy step, you know. It's awesome. Isn't it? <laughs> kind of grew some things like that, you know. Not too, I mean, too much ballet or whatever. <laughs> right, right. It has that stiff movement to it. Yeah. I knew if we did something with substance and content that people would watch, and it had great entertainment value, and if it held you. Um, I knew we'd be okay, and that was the idea, you know. When you made the video, when you were making it, when you finished it, did you realize just what you'd accomplished, that this was going to be this groundbreaking? When I was in the editing room, I knew I liked it. I enjoyed it. You know, it, it has to be satisfying for me, and I enjoyed what I had seen when we finished it. Um, 
So I was happy with it. Never totally satisfied, but I was happy. What, what about it would you have changed if you could? I'm not always happy with certain cuts and angles and the timing and, you know, those sort of things, you know. You're on worst credit, huh? Yeah, it has to be just right. <laughs>